So welcome to this class of morning routine for pain. My name is Sol, and today I'm going to guide you through a little practice you can do in your bed before you get out of the bed in the morning, or you could do it right after you wake up or after your coffee in the morning. It's a small routine that will help you to calm your nervous system and also get your body to move without stiffness and pain. We all have pain. Every now and then we have sometimes nagging pain. Sometimes we have just a little bit of pain, but it's there all the time. Sometimes we have severe pain, but pain is never the same every day. So the somatics movements and exercises I'm learning you is helping you to regulate your nervous system and also regulate your nervous system stress responses so that it can increase muscle tensions and therefore also pain. So in this program we're going to do today, we are going to start by doing an orienting. It is a practice to orient inside of you, to observe and feel what it's like to be you. And also at the same time, we're going to orient in the environment so that your brain will understand that there is no threat on the outside. So what we see and what we feel that this is connected. And uh, um, many people are struggling with, um, with fear. So fear and pain is also interconnected. The more fear we, ha we have, the more pain we may feel, the more limiting beliefs we have, the more pain we can feel. So what is important when we are working with our pain is instead of having focus of getting rid of the pain, be aware what is causing your pain. Is it the way you're living? Is it increased stress in your life? Is it due to um, traumas in the past? Is it because you're thinking something that is in your inner environment creating more stress and therefore more tensions and then pain. So before you start, if you would have an intention for this practice for today, what would that be? So if you have focus on what can I do to get out of pain? What can I do to get rid of the pain? I don't want to have the pain you have resistance to pain, just try to feel inwards and, and sense within you, what do you want to feel instead of pain? Is it to feel more calm? Is it to have more peace within you? A feeling of being more relaxed? Is it a sense of accept and no judgment of whatever there is inside of you right now? Or is it to learn something that you can do for yourself to reduce pain? So just feel in what kind of intention, what do you want to set for yourself now for this morning practice today? Because if you always focus on getting rid of pain without knowing what you want to have instead, it's very difficult for the brain to find what feels better. But when you start to focus on how do I feel without judgment, what do I want to feel instead, and what can I do to feel better right now, you might feel that there is something, even the smallest, tiniest thing you can do for yourself to feel a little bit better. Maybe that is to relax. Maybe that is to just take a walk, a cook a nice cup of warm tea, or read a book, and maybe take a hot shower. So the tiniest, smallest things may help you to have another focus than your pain. So this practice you can do in cozy sweaters or in your pajamas. You could do it in your bed or you could do it on the floor. So just uh, 
find yourself uh, for, for now a seated position. So I pretend you're in your bed or, or in your sofa, whatever feels better for you right now for the orienting. And then you can choose whether you want to lay in your bed or you want to lay on the floor afterwards because the movement is just gonna be laying flat. So for the orienting, you can start with having your eyes closed if that feels comfortable for you. If there is too much noise and worries and fear within you, of course, have your eyes open. But if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes. And <clears throat> when you start to sense your body, it is not to judge or fix or think it's going to be different. You're just observing what is right now because your nervous system, your nervous system is doing something. And if you start to practice orienting and slow, soft, gentle movements in the morning before you go out of bed, you might feel better during the day. So you can have your hands resting on the sides, or you can have one hand on your belly and one hand on the chest, whatever feels better for you. I'm putting one hand on my chest and one hand on my belly. And just notice how you're resting on your surface. Can you feel the print of your backside towards the bed or the floor or the surface you have? Does it feel like your body is relaxed or is it tight? Does it feel like the muscles are being contracted. It doesn't feel like the muscles are relaxed right now. And just remember you're not focusing on how it should be or how it has been, but how it is at this moment. So being present here and now. <clears throat> and start to notice your feet. How do they rest? Are they straight or bend? Or, I mean, your legs, are they straight or are they bent? And are your feet pointing downwards or up? Are your feet rotated outwards or inwards? Or are they just pointing straight up towards the ceiling? And also notice if there is a difference between the right and left foot. And, and sense also how the rest of your legs are resting. Or the thighs into the floor or lifted or in the bed. And notice the weight, weight of the pelvis, is it equally balanced on both sides? Or is there more pressure on one side compared to the other one? Can you feel if the glutes are tight or are they relaxed? And what about the back? Is it relaxed or tight? Is it arched or flat towards the surface? Is there a difference between the right and left side along the spine up to your scapula? And I have shoulder blades resting on the mattress or on the floor. Or does it feel like the shoulders wants to want to go forward towards the ceiling or inwards towards the chest? And is there a difference between the right and left side? And what about the neck? Is it bent back? Is it straight? Is it tight or relaxed right now? And where is the breath? Is it in the belly? 
or is it more up in the higher part of the chest? Is there a movement in the rib cage expanding out when you're breathing in and up towards the ceiling? Or does the breath feel restricted or relaxed? And if you don't know where your breath is, Again, put your hand, one hand on the chest, one hand on your belly so that you can feel this there movement under your hands. Or the hands being lifted up towards the ceiling as you're breathing in. And this one of the hands lifting more towards the ceiling as you take your breath in. Or is it equal? So you don't change the breath. You're not focus on having any breathing techniques. You're just focusing and getting to know your breath right now. So at the same time as you focus on your breath, whether it's in your belly or your chest, can you sense your feet again? Start and sense the feet. Are, are they relaxed or are they tight? Are your feet standing? on your mattress or floor, or are they laying down? And again, focus on your breath. So what, what I would like to invite you to do is if you now have been resting flat on your back, please really slowly, could you come up to seated position? And you can have a cushion in your back. You might support yourself under your thighs. And again, you might want to put one hand on the chest and one hand on the belly. Can you feel your pelvis to the surface? And as you feel the pelvis, can you also notice your breath? This is the way to soothe and calm your nervous system. Just focus, no fixing. And also feel your feet. Maybe they're tingling, maybe they are relaxed. Maybe you can feel your duvet or blanket or if you're on the floor, you might have socks. Just notice how you can sense your feet right now. And at the same time, notice your breath. And if you've had your eyes closed, I'm inviting you to open the eyes. So now you have been orienting inwards towards yourself and sensing you notice what's going on inside. Now I'm inviting you to orient in the environment around you, whether it's your bedroom or living room or wherever you, wherever you are. Just let the eyes slowly glide like they're going over a, a horizon. And whenever you feel that your eyes are resting on something, just have a focus there. What do you see? Maybe it's a lamp or a window. Maybe it's some curtains. A picture. Maybe just noticing the color of your wall. 
And as you're resting your eyes at this point, start to notice the breath without changing anything. And whenever you feel that your eyes want to change position, just slowly, millimeter by millimeter, you change where you look. Let the eyes slowly glide around in the room. And you might want to turn your head as well. So it's not a fast back and forth, it's a really slow and more, more subtle way of moving your eyes and your head in one direction or the other. And at the same time as you're orienting and letting your eyes rest on something, like I'm resting my eyes and plant in front of me. At the same, same time as I see the plant, I also notice my breath. So just feel your breath. Feel if your breath is in the belly of the chest. And as you're resting your eyes on whatever you're resting the eyes on, and you're feeling your breath, also notice your feet again. This is a very nice way to calm your nervous system and practice when you already feel calm so that you can practice this whenever you need to, when necessary, if you feel anxious or stressed or worried. To practice when you are calm. And when you're in your early wake up stage, your brain is so re receiving to, to learning and to soothing. Again, you just let your eyes glide over the horizon around in your room. Maybe you can see some dust in the shelf or some books there. And notice, huh? notice your feet. And also focus on your breath. Wonderful. And then you can come back. I'm going to start to move your body. And you can just slide down, laying, you know, to your back again. So if, if you're in your bed, you might want to have your duvet or blankets on top of you. And if you're warm, you just take them off. And if you're on the floor, you could do this under your under blanket or you could just be in your pajamas or cozy sweater, whatever feels like best for you. So this might have calmed your nervous system just by focusing inwards and also outwards. <clears throat> at the same time. So this is telling the brain that everything is safe. You're in safe environments and it's safe to be you and your body. Now you can start to move your body. So you can just have your legs straight for the moment, but you can support yourself under the thighs if needed and under your head if you also want support. And the first movement you're gonna do is an arch and flatten. So it's a rolling and tilting of the pelvis forward and backward. When you're tilting the pelvis forward, you're tilting the pelvis towards your feet and arching the back. And when you're tilting the pelvis backwards, you're tilting it towards to the head, flattening the back to the mattress and, or floor and activating the front. So we're gonna do this with straight feet. We're also gonna use the feet with pointing and flexing the feet. And we'll continue the same movement with the feet resting on the surface with bent knees so that you can have different experience in this arch and flatten. One of the fundamentals of somatics movement so you can have it in different variations. So now with the straight legs, again, focus on the breath and as you breathe in, let the belly flow towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, the belly sinks back down. And next time as you're breathing in and belly floats up towards the ceiling, allow the lumbar part of the back to lift up from the mattress as well. Can you feel and sense that there is slightly tension in the back? 
and that your back is arching a little bit. And like you are able to put one vertebra at a time, whether you melt them slowly back to where it came from. And when you come back to the surface, totally let go. You might notice if you practice this on the floor uh, earlier, there is less resistance now when you have a soft um, surface. So just know that it, it feels different. It doesn't give you the resistance so that you can sense the muscles in the same way. But at least there's something you can do in the bed, especially if you have lots of pain and need time to get out of, of bed. So once more as you breathe in, let the belly float up towards the ceiling, start to arch your back. Can you sense and feel the tightness, the tension you're um, activating in the back? And slowly melt down. And when you come back to the bed, the surface or floor, let go of everything. This time, as you breathe in and lift the arch and arching the back, start to tilt the pelvis forward towards the feet. So you're making a, a bigger arch in the back. But within your comfort zone, never, never strain, never press. It's just a gentle arch and tilting of the pelvis forward so that your pubic bone is coming closer towards the feet. And slowly release, roll the pelvis back to neutral, melt your back to the surface. And once more, breathe in and roll your pelvis forward, tilting it forward, arching your back. Allow the belly to relax and expand towards the ceiling. Then melt back to where you came from. So now you can go into the opposite direction. So you take a nice and deep breath in. And as you breathe out, start to press the back towards the surface and roll the pelvis back towards the head. So you're tightening the front. You might feel the belly is getting contracted. Your back is being flatter towards the surface and slowly release the belly. So never just to drop, drop back to neutral. You voluntarily and slowly and consciously releasing and lengthening the muscles you have been activated. And then you are back to neutral and let go. Breathe in again to, take, to start with. And now as you breathe out, Melt your back to the surface, roll your pelvis back towards the chest and head, shorten and tighten the front. You might notice that the head also wants to bend back and slowly release. Okay, so now you're gonna go in both direction as one exercise. So as you breathe in, you tilt the pelvis forward, arching the back, Freeing the front, activating the lumbar part of the back. Slowly, vertebra by vertebra, melt the back. Close to the surface, start to roll your pelvis backwards, tightening the front, pelvis to chest. The chest might also sink to the pelvis. And slowly come back out. One last time, breathe in, arch your back, tilt your pelvis forward. Freeing and lengthening the front side. Melt back to the surface. Roll the pelvis back towards the head, tightening the front, releasing the, the back side. And slowly release from there. So now you're going to start to involve your feet. So just the feet by itself. Well, you are asked to breathe in, point your feet down towards the end of the mattress and slowly release again. Just like a ballerina again, and when you breathe in, you're pointing your feet down. And you might notice that this is activating the back sides of your legs, the calves and slowly release. Take a nice and deep breath in. 
And as you breathe out with your flex your feet, so you're actually pulling the feet up towards the front side of the, of the legs towards the head. And slowly release. And one more time, you're flexing your feet, pointing the toes upwards, like your heels are being pushed down towards the end of the mattress and your feet are pointing up towards the head and slowly release from there. Okay, so this is gonna be a part of the arch and flatten. So now, next time, as you're breathing in, tilting the pelvis forward, you're freeing the front side, lengthening the front, activating the back side. Point your feet and toes down towards the end of your mattress. Can you feel the back side of the legs are tightening? The back is tightening. Slowly release the back side. And then when you roll the pelvis back towards the head and chest, tightening the front and the belly, flex your feet up towards your head. And slowly release the feet, slowly release the front side. And one more time, breathe in, arch the back, tilt the pelvis forward and point the toes and feet down. Tightening the back side of the legs, the calves. Slowly free the back side, melt the back vertebra by vertebra, releasing, rolling the pelvis back towards the chest and head. And now you flex your feet again. And slowly come back out of that one. Good. So just take a moment and sense and feel within you so that your brain is getting used to notice differences or if there's any feedback from some of the muscles you have been working with. You might feel that the front and the legs are giving you some sensations of the backside or maybe the back or the front of the body. Maybe you're more relaxed, closer to the surface. So now you can put the feet into your surface, whether you're having your feet on the mattress or your yoga mat, whatever, wherever you are. So your feet are standing, bend your knees, have hip width distance between your feet, arms resting along the side. So we're gonna do the, the arch and flat now with just the different position of your feet. So again, as you breathe in, arch the back, tilt the pelvis forward and feel if you can sense the back, the back side tighten, contracting, the muscles are getting activated in the lumbar part of the back. And slowly again, release vertebra by vertebra. I'm inviting you to do this really slow, just so that your brain can notice when your muscles slightly and slowly are getting longer millimeter by millimeter. This is a learning process as well. And then roll your back pelvis backwards, tightening the front, shortening the distance between the pelvis and the chest. The head might bend back. You're freeing the lumbar part of the back. Slowly release. Again, the same process that you're releasing consciously and slowly. Your brain and spinal cord and muscles are communicating all the time when you're using slow conscious movement. And this is when you're using your brain's um, neuroplasticity, which means you're creating new neural pathways so that your brain can take back the control over your muscles and also your moods. This happens through slow and conscious movements. 
All right, so the last time you're breathing in, arching the back, tilting the pelvis forward, freeing and lengthening the front, activating the back. Release the back, millimeter by millimeter. One vertebra at the, at the time, put back to your surface, and then you roll the pelvis back, tightening the front, freeing the backside. And slowly release. Good. So take your time. Rest for a moment. Also give yourself time to integrate what you've done. Activate the back side, the front side. And he, your brain needs time to integrate what you've done. And also to look for something that might feel different. So there are different parts of the brain you're using when you're doing the movements and when you're sensing, you're using the sensory and the motor part of the brain, the thinking brain, the planning brain, the analyzing brain. And also when you're sensing, you're doing that with the lower part of the brain, the lower part, upper part of the spinal cord, and then the reptilian brain. Okay, so now you're gonna start to involve your arms as well. So going into the next movement, which is also an arch and flatten with the pelvis, so it's the same, same basic uh, of the pelvis, but you're gonna involve the arms. We're gonna do a movement again called flower. So in the morning, the sunshine is rising and the flowers are opening up in the sunshine. And when it's night, the flower is closing closing up again. And this is what we're gonna do with your arms and also the front side and back side of the body. So you're involving more of your body. If you have uh, lots of worries and anxiety and inner stress, you might feel that the shoulders are being pulled forward and upwards towards your ears. So you might also feel that the, the, the breath is more in the upper part of your front side, maybe upper part of the chest. So this will help you release the tensions around the front side of the, of the chest and also back side of your body. And your shoulders will also have benefits from this movement. And of course, the front and back side of your body. So your arms, <clears throat> please let them be resting on the surface with your palms up. So it's not gonna be out in a T, so it's slightly 45 degrees away from your hips with your palms facing up. So we're gonna do a movement where you're rolling your arms. I'm gonna just move this away from the, from the camera so that you can see more. So by laying on your surface with your palms facing up, we'll just slowly start to roll your hands and arms and shoulders inwards closer to your body and, sh and shoulders are being pulled forward to the ceiling and inwards to the sternum. And you know, my elbows are really soft and my arms are soft. So there's no um, stick arms, no hard, stiff arms. The arms are relaxed. It's just a rolling, soft rolling movement where you're also involving the front side of the, of the shoulders and the chest. So you're rolling the arms in. And you might can see that my palms are facing out. And then slowly melt your shoulders back down to the surface and roll your arms back where it came from. Once more, take a nice and deep breath in. And as you breathe out, roll your arms inwards, closer to your body. So you're not just in and out, you're rolling as a whole movement inwards inwards and inwards, rolling the hands, rolling the arms, rolling the shoulders inwards. Bring your shoulders towards the ceiling and your head might hang a little bit, you know, your backside of the head is touching the, the surface, whether you have a cushion or the mat laying down. So you're not gonna lift your head. You bring the shoulders forward in towards the sternum. Can you feel also that the 
chest is getting tighter, the ribs are maybe coming closer to the belly, and even the belly might feel a bit tight. And then slowly release your shoulders, roll your arms back to where it came from. So now we're gonna involve the back side of your shoulders. So as you're breathing in, roll your arms away from the body. And roll the hands and arms outwards, away from your body. And can you also feel if your scapulas are being pulled closer towards the spine? Please allow your chin to come closer to the chest. So you're not gonna tilt your head back. You're freeing the front of the chest, the front of the ribs, the belly, and activating the back side of the body. Slowly release the shoulders and let the arms come back to where they came from. And once more, breathe in, roll your arms out, pull the scapulas closer together towards the spine, free the front, activate the backside, soft arms, soft hands, soft elbows, and slowly release. Okay, so we're gonna bring in both the directions. We're gonna start rolling outwards and then rolling inwards. So as you breathe in, roll your arms away from the body, hands and arms rolling out, pulling the scapulas closer together. The front side is opening like a flower in the sunshine in the morning, chin to chest. Slowly release the backside. Then start to roll the hands and arms and shoulders inwards and inwards. Lift your shoulders up towards the ceiling. Allow your chin to tilt back. Back side of the head is resting to the surface. Can you feel that the chest and the ribs and the belly is getting tight? And then slowly come back to neutral. So this was the arms. Now you're going to bring in the pelvis. So please, again, place your feet on the surface, hip width distance apart of your feet. Again, hands putting a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. So really slow, listen to my instructions and do what you hear, even though you've done it many times. So now as you're breathing in, tilt the pelvis forward, arching the back, freeing the front side, belly raising towards the ceiling. Roll the hands and arms outwards away from the body and pull the scapulas closer to the body in the chest. You breathe just as you need to, as many times in and out as you need. Slowly release the backside. Gently melt the back to the surface, releasing behind the shoulder blades. Roll the pelvis backwards towards the chest and head and start to roll the hands and arms and shoulders inwards towards the center of the body. Your hands are still um, touching the surface, but your elbows might be lifted up and away from the surface. And your shoulders are being lifted up towards the ceiling, closer into the chest. Slowly release the front side, melt your shoulders back and roll your arms back to neutral. So your hands are always in contact with the surface. So once more, as you breathe in, arch the back, tilt the pelvis forward, roll your arms away from the body. Pull the scapulas closer together, let the chin come closer to the chest. This is the, the flower opening when the sun comes, freeing the front, activating the back. Release the backside, melt the back down to the surface, release your shoulders, roll the pelvis back to the chest, towards the chest and head, roll your hands and arms or shoulders in. And again, remember the soft arms, Soft elbows, hands rolling closer to the, to the body, chin tilting back. So the pelvis is tilting backwards towards the head and the head is tilting backward. Slowly release again. And the last time, breathe in, notch your back, tilt the pelvis forward, freeing, lengthen the front side, roll the arms away from the body, tightening the back side. Lengthen the neck, chin to chest. You breathe just as you need to. Release the backside. 
melt the back to the surface, roll the pelvis back towards the head and chest, shrink the chest and pelvis closer together, arms slough softly rolling inwards towards the body, shoulders forward to the ceiling, head, tilt, head tilting back. And really slow and breathe in and out as many times as needed. Come back to neutral. Straighten your legs. And just sense and notice what it feels like to be you right now. You might feel that you're more calm, more relaxed. Maybe you feel that you're more present in your body. You might sense that you have been activated the chest, the shoulders, and the uh, backside, maybe your back or muscles along the ribs. You just notice. And if you can't feel anything, that's fine too. Just Allow whatever there is. It is like it is. Okay, so now we're going to bring you into the, or invite you into the last moment for today. This is the wash rag. And this can be done on the floor. You can do it seated, and you can also do it in your bed. And when you're doing the movement, and also actually all the movements, you're gonna practice the movements just like they should be a yawn. And a yawn is doing slow. When we're activating the muscles we're, oh, when we're yawning, and then we slowly go out of the yawn. So a yawn is juicy and it's good and it feels amazing. We never do a yawn fast and we never press ourselves into a yawn. So, Imagine that whatever movement you're doing, you're doing it as going to be juicy as a yawn because it's going to feel good. It's going to be comfortable. It's going to be within your comfort zone. So you're actually training your brain's capacity to slow, um, to do slow movements and to do movements with awareness and consciously. And also remember that when you're going to learn something new, when you're going to reprogram your nervous system, you have to do that with slow movements. All right. So the next movement that you're going to do is rotation. So you're rolling your spine in a spiral movement like this. You're going to free the muscles along the spine. And you will lengthen the muscles as far as they can go naturally without creating a stretch and without pushing any muscles to do its job. So you're just going to open and lengthen uh, the outside of the bodies, but also increase the movement of the spine. So this will help you reduce tensions in this along the spine and so that you can rotate with more ease and freedom. So again, put your feet back to your surface, hip width, hip width distance apart between your feet. And again, your arms are away from the body. So please put the arms lower than a T shape. So between 45 and 75 degree angle away from the hips. And you can start by having your palms facing up. And while you're really slow, start to turn your head towards the right. Just turning the head slowly to notice how was the range of movement towards the right? And then you come back to center and slowly rotate your head to the left. And again, you're just sensing and noticing if there's any difference between one side compared to the other. Come back to neutral. When I say neutral, I mean come back to center. Once more, you just slowly. Rotate your neck and head to the right. And go back through center and over to the left. And then you come back to the center again. 
So you might notice that there is a difference between the right and left side. Maybe one side feels easier to go towards. Maybe there's more ret restriction on one side. So, or maybe it's equal. So now you're gonna bring in your legs and your pelvis. So this is a tilting movement of your legs. So with your feet standing on your surface, if you have your duvets or blankets on, if they are in the way, just take it away so that you can have freedom without resistance. So would you start really slowly and you can do this on the in breath or out breath or you can breathe as many times as you need to in and out. So play, just play. As there is no right, no wrong in this work. But what you're gonna do, you're gonna slowly melt your knees towards the left. So you are consciously letting the knees melt over to the left. So your feet are standing on your surface, your left foot is turning on the outside, your right foot is turning onto the inside and your knees are slowly going over to the left side. Can you feel that the right side is opening and lengthening as your feet are going, or your legs are going to the left? So this is no stretching of the, of the right side, it's just a natural lengthening. So you might notice that as you're having the distance between the feet and also keep the distance between your, your knees, you're not gluing them together, you're just melting them over to the left. You might feel that the left side is coming closer to your surface and the right side is maybe going more diagonal. And you have maybe a sensation that your pelvis is tilting to the left and that the right side is being lifted up. Now allow that the outside of the right side to lengthen and release without pushing your knee, your feet or legs anywhere. You're just going as far as natural. And also feel that is your waist relaxed? Is your back relaxed? Is your front relaxed? And then slowly come back up with your knees. So one more time, just like a yawn, you might breathe your knees over to the left as you breathe in if you want to. Freeing and opening the right outside. And you might also breathe out when you lift your knees back up again and notice what muscles are helping your knees back up. And then slowly melt your knees over to the right. Your right foot is turning to the outside, your left foot is turning to the inside and your knees are going up over to the right. Notice if you can feel the opening and lengthening of the left side of your body. Allow the muscles and the waist and belly and the back to release and lengthen. And are there any hidden tensions that might inhibit the hip to come down? And when you bring your legs back up, just notice, are you using the waist, your back, your belly, everything? And once more, you're breathing in or out and let your knees melt over to the right side, lengthening and opening the, way, uh, the waist and the left side. And then come back up. Great, so now let's involve the head as well. We're gonna go back and forth between the right and left side with the, with the knees. So as you breathe in, melt your knees over to the left, really slowly rotating the knees to the left, opening the right side of the body, turn your head slowly over to the right so that your knees and head are going in opposite direction. And you might notice now that there is a spiral movement in the, in the spine, pelvis tilting one side, head and neck tilting the opposite side. Head and knees come back to the center again. Slowly turn your knees over to the right side and rotate neck and head to the left. 
It's a lengthening and a releasing of the muscles along the spine from the pelvis up to the neck. And come back to the center again. Wonderful. So now you're gonna bring in your arms. So there's quite some coordination in this work. So just take a moment where you're having your knees standing still, your arms away from the body between 45 and 75 degrees angle away from the hips, <clears throat> hands facing up. And in the same principle as the flower we did, let the hands be resting on the floor. So even though you're rolling the arms and the shoulders, your hands are in contact with the floor or the surface or your mattress. So when you slowly roll the right arm out, further out and away from the body and feel if you can have the right shoulder blade closer to the floor and bring your head to the right so that your head is always turning towards the hand that is rotating away from the body. The hand and arm rotating away from the body. The left arm and hand is rolling in closer to the body and allow the left shoulders to lift up towards the ceiling. You're releasing the backside. Slowly release. Your arms come back to neutral, to the center where they came from, palms facing up, head in the center. Now turn the left hand and arm out and away from the body rolling the arm and rotating the head to the left. Rotate and roll the right hand and arm and shoulder inwards to the body, lifting the shoulder up and away from the floor, the right side. So now you're actually also spiraling the movement in the shoulders back and forth. One shoulder is going closer to the surface. The opposite is coming closer to the ceiling. You're spiraling your arms. So it's a spiral movement in the whole body a total body yawn of lengthening and opening on one side and shortening and tightening the opposite. Come back to neutral. Once more, as you breathe in, roll your head to the right, the right arm is rolling away from the body, right shoulder closer to the surface, left arm rolling in closer to the body, left shoulder is being lifted up and away from the surface. Come back to neutral. Last time to the left, roll the left arm away from the body, head turns to the left, right hand and arm rolling in towards the body, right shoulder lifting up towards the ceiling, and then come back to neutral. So now you're gonna bring in the legs as well. And do this with a breath that feels right for you. So. Don't focus so much over the breath. Just again, imagine you're doing a juicy, good and relaxing yawn. No pushing, no strengthening, no stretching. So now, as you breathe in, would you let your knees go to the left? Head turns right, right arms roll away from the body. Left arm turns inwards to the body. So left arm is going towards the knees. Right arm and head is going away from the knees. Slowly come back to center. Head, knees and arms. And you breathe just as you need to. Let the knees go to the right. Turn your head to the left. Left arm rolls away from the body. Right arm rolls in towards the body. Right arm rolls towards the knees. Head turns away from the knees. Come back to center. Knees go left. Left arm rolls in. Head turns right. Right arm turns away from the body. So you're opening the whole right side, closing and tightening the left. Slowly come back to neutral. One last time, bring the knees to the right, head turns left, right arm rolls in towards the body, left arm turns away from the body. 
you're opening and lengthening the, uh, the left side, you're shortening and tightening the right side. And then come back to neutral. Hmm. I like how everything. Straighten your legs again. And just close your eyes. Focus inwards. And just feel. How is it to be you now? And how are you resting on the surface you have? You might feel more calm or relaxed or flatter. You might feel that there is more of you close to the surface. And if there were a difference between the right and left side, how is it now? How do you feel your feet? Are they more relaxed? And if there was a difference between the right and left leg, is it the same or different? And feel the weight of the pelvis. If there was slightly more connection on one side, is it more balanced? And if there were tightness in the glutes, how is it now? Is it the same or different? And feel also the backside of the body. Is it more close to the, to the surface, more relaxed maybe? If you used to go, 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 go straight out of bed and hurry up, maybe you can feel that whew, your backside is more relaxed. And what about the scapulas? Are they more close to the surface? And how is the front side? Is it, are the shoulders more relaxing and resting, freeing the front? And how is the neck? If it was tight, is it more relaxed? And also if there's no change, that's fine too. You're working slowly but surely in to regulate your own nervous system, to soothe and calm your nervous system. And when your nervous system is calming, you want your muscles will relax more. And when your muscles relax, there will be less muscle tensions. And with less muscle tensions, there will be less pain. And with less pain and less muscle ten tension, and when the muscles are becoming longer and function better, you might notice that you can move with more ease and freedom with less stiffness and pain. So this is what I'm learning you through these sessions to gradually help yourself out of stiffness and pain. And when you started, I invited you to set an intention for yourself. You just feel into it. Are you closer to your intention? Maybe it was to feel more calm. Maybe it was to experience that you were relaxing more. Maybe you just wanted to learn something you can, you can use in, on a daily basis. So it also could be an idea is to journal when you wake up to set an intention of how you want to feel that day. What do you want to feel? Do you want to feel peace and calm? Do you want to feel more joy? Do you want to go through the day and, and uh, um, be present? And what thoughts are increasing the tensions of the muscle? What thoughts and emotions are increasing the level of pain? And how can you meet your body's need? What is your body and your pain asking for? Is it to say yes to you, no to the world? Is it to have more healthy boundaries for yourself? Maybe it is to do less and do things slower. So I hope you enjoyed the moments. I hope that you feel better, that you have more ease and feel more calm in your nervous system and your body so that you can bring this with you during the day.
if you're doing this practice before you go to bed, you will most likely sleep better because what you take into your sleeping world, your state of sleep is also continuing during the night. So to calm your nervous system before you go to sleep will make you sleep better. Maybe you also wake up without tensions and less pain in the morning. And if you do this as the first thing you do in the morning, you might notice that you will have a better day with more, with more wellness. So I'm wishing you the best and I hope to see you later. So take care for now and bye-bye.